Our next talent today is an internationally renowned symphony conductor and motivational speaker. He began his musical career as a concert violinist at age five. Today, he regularly conducts symphony orchestras from Toronto to Tel Aviv, from Rome to Rotterdam. In the year 2000, he gave the Vatican premiere of Leonard Bernstein's controversial mass before Pope Paul II and an audience of 10,000. Though what we do at Pitney Bowes may seem far from the world of classical music, we think Boris will provide us with some unusual insights that relate to taking our business to yet another extreme. Please welcome Boris Brat. What a company you have. This is just amazing. I've been sitting here for the last hour and a half and, and listening to these achievements and, and, and truly I'm blown away. And you have such wonderful maestri in Maestro Cretelli and Maestro Martin. I, I mean, this, this has got to be the greatest symphony orchestra in the world. I'm going right out to buy new stock right away. You know, great music can be an incredible motivator. It can make you feel alive, bursting with energy, ready to attempt the impossible, to run faster, to jump higher, to exceed your wildest dreams. It's amazing how music does this to us in a way that almost nothing else in life can. Now, it's been said by philosophers that we humans invented our words to hide, to conceal our thoughts. Well, music seems to lay bare the basis of our thoughts, our emotions. We seem to need its uplifting, soothing, rhythmic, pulsating energy almost as much as we need food. Why else would people everywhere be so consistently plugged into those personal listening devices? Now, we can draw many wonderful analogies between a world-class symphony orchestra and world-class Pitney Bowes. One thing is certain, regardless of the enterprise, when everyone in it works in harmony, the end result is bound to have a special quality an energy, a bond that makes for better relationships and concentrates the efforts on the goal of success. I feel that energy here in this room. Both you and the symphony bring together a diversity of enormous talents, and both symphonies and organizations require far-sighted leadership. Now I hope by examining a field very different from yours and experiencing playing together in that field, you'll find some helpful analogies and have some fun too to end the session this morning. Now in the music business, we are attempting to realize and interpret the work of a composer. And great composers are the first link in what I like to call a creative chain. They unlock the creative juices of the musicians for whom they write. Their music is the wing upon which we soar. Much as what we will put on our next business plan is your score and what you dedicate yourselves to. Success in today's rapidly changing and highly challenged fiscal environment is predicated upon our ability to be creative.
Thank you so much. That was fabulous. You're all very musical. I challenge you to find the positive extremes within your personal and business lives.